Hey, Void Amy J here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the mysterious trees in game and figure out what they possibly mean. Before we get started, do me a massive favour and hit the like button. We're starting off today with the swamp trees. If you want to know the location, I'm showing it on my map right now. And if you notice, the markers are actually in the shape of a triangle where each swamp tree is. This makes me wonder, did Rockstar purposely put them in a triangle formation? They are also very close to the tiny church and if you stand beside one of the trees, you can actually hear the church bell go off. So I'm wondering, are these two things related? This symbol relates to Aloha spirit in voodoo. Aloha is the spirit of Haitian and Louisiana voodoo, which we all know Le Moyne is based off Louisiana. Aloha is looked upon as a godly figure in voodoo. They would often be prayed to and served. They are each distinct beings with their own traits, symbols and so on. Here is a common image of Aloha. Aloha is pictured in game at the house beside the cabin where you can find the shrunken head. This symbol is called Aviv. Aviv is a religious symbol commonly used in different branches of voodoo. Aviv shouldn't be confused with Ponte Pimbas used in Palo voodoo. The Aviv acts as a beacon to the Aloha and will represent them during rituals. So basically this is a symbol that will represent the Aloha and it is associated with them. I did some research and I found out that this symbol represents the Loa called Ogin. He is a spirit that appears in many African religions. He is a warrior and powerful spirit of metalwork, as well as rum making. He is also known as the God of Iron. I know this is a lot of information to take in, so I'll leave some links in the description below if you would like to learn any more about what we've talked about. Here is a photo of the Vive symbol of Ogin. The next symbol we can find is the same Vive symbol, but it's been weather beaten and worn off. Ogun's full name is Ogun Leke, and Leke in game is where we can find these symbols, so I thought that was a nice touch from Rockstar. Last up, we have the last symbol, and it is also to do with voodoo, but it is a different type of voodoo this time. And it's. Whoa! We just got hit by a boar! <laughs> no way, I gotta leave that in. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The last symbol is related to another type of voodoo called Pelo. The symbol represents good luck and it is called a Ponte Pimba, not a Vive. Pelo originated in Cuba and has many different branches such as Mayombe, Monte and Brayombe. Hope I'm pronouncing those right. Here is a photo I found online of the Ponte Pimba. It was hard to find out information about this symbol, but I found out the symbol is a representation of Seate Reos, which means seven lightning bolts. He is a highly masculine spirit and aggressively protective of his devotees. He is a highly popular spirit and favours those who have been struck by lightning and survived. I don't know if you heard the tiny church bell going off in the background, I just recently did a video covering it, but you can only hear the church bell beside the symbol. I wonder why this is. I was thinking because of the representation of the real life chapel being built by a father whose child was sick, that they are ringing the bells to celebrate the child's health returning. I don't know, what do you think? Another possible theory could be that Seate Reos is actually making the bells ring. Now on to the trail trees and here are some markers if you want to go and find them for yourselves. All of these trees are points of interest, you can jot them down in your journal and they will be drawn. Rockstar have actually put these trees into the game as years ago Native Americans would have used these trees as guidance to find rivers and settlements. They would have used them as markers. They would have planted them bent so they would actually grow this way. That's tree number one down, there are four in total. Here is the second trail tree. It is also pointing in the direction. You sort of just follow them until it leads you to the last one. Again, Arthur will take a drawing down of the tree. Here is the third tree and it is a different shape than the others, it is more shaped like a number 4. Yet it is still pointing in a direction that leads you to the next tree. This is the final trail tree shaped like the first two. It is pointing over to the river, which makes sense as Native Americans would use these trees to mark out where water would be. We get another lovely drawing from Arthur, Bob Ross would be proud. So many people think that the trail trees actually point you to this mine here, but I don't think that's true. Also, you can't get into the mine through this way, you have to go through the other way, through the waterfall to get in. And the mine is filled with lead poisoning, so I don't think it would be good for anyone to go inside there. So I brought up my map to see where this trail is actually leading us, and it seems to be leading us to the Kamasa River. And on further, it seems to be leading us to the mysterious white trees. It's funny how one set of trees actually lead you to another set of trees. 
I tried to take Arthur along the exact path that the tree was pointing to. And here is where we end up. These trees spell out why. Why are they saying this? It's just puzzling us. I feel like Rockstar have just made this whole easter egg just to confuse us. They have trees pointing to a set of trees that say why. As if Rockstar is asking us, why did we do this? Why is this here? You can only actually see that they spell out the word why if you come exactly to where I am standing. It took me a bit to figure out where to actually stand to get the word but it's just around here on down a bit and yep you'll start to see the word now. Native Americans actually worshipped gods of thunder and lightning. Maybe they marked out this spot as lightning struck here and they found it sacred. The Native Americans may believe that the god has struck the earth to spell out this word why. If you do want to get struck by lightning here you'll have to first collect the viking gear and then come here at exactly 10pm with a thunderstorm. I'm going to show you footage of me being struck by lightning. Oh my god, he got struck! He got struck! Oh my god! We did it! We did it! No way! Oh my god, we actually did it! Oh my god! Dead! No way! That was awesome! My heart is pounding so much! I actually pulled that off in the live stream, as you can see, I was really excited. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We went over a lot of interest in history and it was fun to talk about. And if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be live streaming Resident Evil 7 later. See you in the next one.